Welcome back to another episode of BSPN. And before we get into our wrap-up of the Sacramento Pro, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, turn on that notification bell so you know when these videos go live. And remember, we are still doing our subscriber YouTube posing giveaway. See that description box below for more details. And let's get into this Pro Bikini Show wrap-up. Always, if you would like to come work with me, suitsandposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing, all of the fun stuff when it comes to competing. Tonight is a BSPN night. We are going to review the Sacramento Pro from this weekend. And as we're doing this, and as we're waiting for everybody to get logged on and everything too, um, as always, we do have our YouTube channel going. Um, so we are getting slowly growing those subscribers. So if you have not subscribed yet, please go do, because once we hit the 700 subscriber mark, I will be giving away another free hour of posing, just like I did at the 600 subscriber mark. So when we finish up this, this uh, live here, I'm gonna actually take it and um, edit it with video and with pictures. I did get video from Jasmine. Jasmine was there in person at Sacramento, so she sent me video. Thank you so much, Jasmine. I appreciate that so much. We're gonna start with uh, the Sacramento Pro. First thing is, is when I did my preview of the Sac Pro, I had like eight girls picked out for a potential first call out. So the first call out did end up being six girls. Um, so we're gonna talk about those six a little bit more in depth. Uh, but when we come to the, I wanted to actually kind of touch on the top 10 because every girl that I mentioned in the top eight didn't, did end up being in the top 10. Uh, we had a couple of girls that moved up into the top 10 that I did not have on my uh, prediction list. So we'll talk about them as well. Uh, but I did want to talk about each one of these girls a little bit because uh, depending on where I had them in my prediction level, I want to show, say where, like, where they ended up. So we're going to start at 10 and work our way up. Um, so in 10th was Maria Julia Lemos. So I had her in a potential fifth or sixth place placing. Um, she ended up placing 10th. Um, she was just a little bit soft. Now, something I want to mention to you guys too, as we get into this, um, the pictures on NPC News Online make all of the girls look way harder than they actually were. Uh, I did get, like I said, I got video from Jasmine, so I have a pretty good view of what they actually looked like. Uh, and the pictures just make them look a lot more contrasted, a lot more lean, a lot more conditioned than they actually were. Uh, the, the video actually shows them a little bit more true to form and they were not all overly conditioned because if you look at these pictures that's what it looks like it looks they were it looks like most of them were overly conditioned and they weren't um <clears throat> maria was a little bit soft one of the issues that maria has is she'll come in nice and tight from the front and then from the back she loses a little bit in her hamstrings from her glutes well here she's a little bit washed out in the front um, and she was also loose in the back as well. Uh, I do think she's overarching in her back pose as well. That's one of the biggest things I noticed with her, um, with her back pose is I just feel like she may be overarching. She may need to stand up a little bit to let her glutes show a little bit better. And that could also be why her hamstrings are getting washed out. If she's arching too much in her back, that could actually be washing her hamstrings out and making her look softer than she actually is. So if I was her, I would try kind of adjusting that pose a little bit and see, see if her body shows a little bit better that way. Um, she wore a red suit at this show versus the blue that she wore at Hurricane. I think I like the blue on her better. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the red. I just think I like the blue on her better. Um, just a personal opinion, personal choice. Uh, this wasn't a bad look for her, but it definitely wasn't her best either. I do think that Hurricane was a little bit better than this. She was a lot tighter from the front. Uh, her back was very similar but from the front, she was a little bit washed out here as opposed to what she looked like at uh, Hurricane, uh, where she took second there. Um, let's see. So then we go up to um, ninth, which is Hope Harper. So I did have Hope in eighth. So I was pretty close with Hope. I had her initially in my in my eighth place position. Um, one of the things that I critiqued her on from Legions is that her front pose looked unbalanced. She fixed that here. She definitely looked a lot more balanced in her front pose at this particular show than she did um, at Legions but she still needs some glutes. Um, she's pretty washed out in the back as well. She's another one where maybe it's her back pose. Uh, her hamstrings are really washed out. She could potentially be arching too much. Um, again, sometimes that if you push too hard, that's gonna actually flatten the glutes, it's gonna flatten out that hamstring tying and everything too. So that could be part of it here for her. I just think in general, she does need to grow a little bit more on her glutes. 
Because when you look at her from the back, she's pretty blocky in her waistline from the back. So in order to make her waistline look a little bit smaller from the back, she's got to grow those glutes out a little bit more. Um, also, her tan was really off. Uh, looks a little bit greenish. This happened with a lot of people in this show, and I'm going to point it out with each one of these top 10 girls where their tan was definitely off. She was one. Her tan was off. Looks a little gray-green. Um, not sure exactly why. I don't know what happened, but it was too light, and it looked a little gray-green. So not a great combination there, but she did fix her front pose. Like I said, her front pose looks a whole lot more balanced uh, than it was at Legion's. At Legion's, she looked really top-heavy. Here she didn't, so kudos to that because that was one thing that she definitely had in, in her control and she fixed it, so really good job there. Um, then we're going to go to, let's see, uh, Danny Phelps. So Danny has not been on stage for three years, I think. This is the first time on stage in like three years. She was another one with tanning issues, uh, really bad tanning issues from the back. Her glutes were green from the back. Um, and it was just, her tan was just too light. Um, for a lot of these girls that their tan was off, they're already fair skinned girls. So whatever they did with their tans made them, didn't make them dark enough, first of all. Um, and then specifically on her glutes, she was really green on her glutes. So I don't know what happened there. Um, uh, but again, we got that greenish look to this to, tint to this tan, which is not a flattering look, obviously. Um, front pose looks great on Danny, uh, but from the back, she's pretty leg heavy. Uh, she's pretty leg heavy from the back. And then also her glutes lacked some pop. Um, now, she hasn't been on stage for three years, so it takes a little bit to kind of kind of get back into the mix and get back into the waters and, and display yourself correctly, things like, things like that. But, you know, the biggest thing I see is that her legs overtake her back pose versus her glutes. I want to see more pop from her glutes. She just looks a little bit flat um, and she just looks a little leg heavy. So from the front, I think she looks great. I think from the front, she's right on. But I think she needs to, to tweak some things from the back. And she definitely, and she's, again, she's pushing really hard in this back pose. You can see the strain in her back, her upper back, on the way she's pushing on this. So I think she might be able to fix a little bit of this if she loosened up this back pose a little. Uh, that's where I see she could probably make a little bit, a little bit of improvement if she's planning on doing another show. And she could also make some improvement by filling her, fill, filling her glutes out a little bit more if she's doing another show, you know, coming up. I don't know what her, what her plans are if she's planning on doing more than this one. I would assume she's planning on doing more than just one show. Um, I mean, overall, again, not a bad look and not a bad placing for coming back after being out for three years, but there's some things that she could probably fix right away that would really help her display her physique a whole lot better. Uh, number one being that tan. Uh, that tan just did not did not do her any any favors, and you can really you can see it in the pictures. But I really saw it because I saw videos, and I really saw it in the videos more than anything else, where her glutes just looked really green. Um, so again, gotta fix that, whatever that is, whatever that pH balance issue is right there um, with her skin. But again, not a bad not a bad comeback, not a bad comeback show for her. Um, so that was Danny. And then seventh was Jessica Dolius. So I had Jessica Dolius in seventh. That's where I predicted she would land, and she did. Um, let me pull her up. Where is, I pulled her pictures up. Where did I put them? Jessica Wilson. There she is. Okay. Um, so I thought this was actually a pretty good look for Jessica. Front poles are great. Um, back pose I think she just needs some more glutes honestly I just think she needs some more glutes because her hamstrings are really tight almost too tight uh but her tie-in from her glutes into her hamstrings was soft so that was a little odd to me um I kind of feel like she maybe just needs to grow some more glutes maybe some more fullness in the back and that would maybe that would um that would fix that I do think her back pose is a little bit off. Like she's pushing her um, her toes out quite a bit in that back pose. I think if she just turned her toes in just a touch, I always tell girls the best place to start with it, and we can play with it a little bit depending on your physique, but the best place to start with is, is if your toes are at one and 11 on the clock. So if you're 12, then your toes go to one and 11. Right now she looks like she's at two and 10. So it's a little bit too much. If she pulls them in just a little, that might help. That might help with keeping the glutes popped up, but bring the legs in just a little bit. Maybe her hamstrings wouldn't be quite so tight. Maybe. 
Um, I don't really know, but I think she just needs a little bit more glutes. I think she needs to build a little bit more glutes. Um, just because posing improved drastically. Love the new front pose. Yes, her front pose is great. And we talked about this her last show that she did. Um, I think it was Hurricane. Her front pose is a, is a thousand times better now. Um, she switched sides. So she looks way better from the front. Um, and again, I think this was a good package for her. I think maybe she just needs to grow a little bit more glutes in the back. And that would probably help her balance a little bit better. Because she's another one that's like Hope. Um, where her lower back in the back is not very small. So in order to make it look smaller, she needs to grow some glutes to pop around it to make her waistline look smaller from the back. So I think it's just a matter of growing a little from the back. From the front, I think she looks great. Um, but yeah, from the back, I think she just needs to grow a little bit. Um, and I didn't see video of her. So the pictures that we talked about her suit the last show, making her suit looked a little bit big in the, in the videos. Um, I didn't see video of her. Um, so I don't know what it looked like on this particular stage in lighting other than the pictures. And the pictures look fine, just like they did Hurricane. But in Hurricane, the video made the suit look big. So I don't know. Maybe it actually did look big in person too here. But I didn't see the video, so I can't comment on that. Um, let's see. So that was... Jessica, so sixth is Phoebe. Um, so Phoebe, last show, her body had kind of shrunk down a little bit too much. Uh, she lost a little bit of size in her upper body um, going into uh, legions. And that was her main critique is that her lower, her upper body looked a little bit too small. So she filled out quite a bit for this show, but it was too much. Um, her upper body actually looked pretty good. It was almost on the borderline of too much upper body here. Uh, in the process of filling out, her waistline blew out and um, her lower half of her body looked really soft. So I... I wish we could take almost like the, the upper body that she had here and put it with a lower body that she had at Legion's. And I think that would have been a really good package right there. Um, she was sixth. Yeah, she was sixth. Yeah, Phoebe was sixth here. Right. That's, did, I, did I not say sixth? I thought I said sixth. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, she, um, she definitely was a little bit too soft overall. Uh, she's one of these ones that, again, her lower body can really quickly overpower, and I think that's what happened here. I know they were more aggressive on filling out because she dropped weight going into Legion, so I know they were more aggressive on filling her out for this show, and it was just too much. Um, you know, this is her, I don't know, this is her third show in like a month or two or something like that. So I know she's planning on doing Iron Games as well. Maybe they'll fine tune it again. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll get, you know maybe she'll get right on, you know, I think if she comes down just a little bit and gets between where she was at Legion's in this show, that's probably going to be her best look. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what they do here. But she was, again, she was just a little bit too soft on the lower half specifically. Upper half actually looked really good. You know, I critiqued her upper half last week, uh, or Legion's or whatever it was, uh, two weeks ago, because her upper body looked skinny. That was not the problem here. Um, she definitely had some round fullness in that shoulder. And again, it was almost on the borderline of being too much um, at this particular show. So they did do what they came to do. It's just a matter of finding that balance. So you got to find that balance. Um, but overall, not a bad package. I think if I could take, again, if I could take her upper body here and put it with her lower body at Legions, I think that would be pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Um, Let's see. And overall, her presentation, like, again, we talked about some of the girls that had some issues with their tan and stuff like that. She didn't. Uh, tan, hair, makeup all look great. Um, so she was on, on point with that. Um, fifth was Adrian on Frey. So this is one that I'm going to have to start putting in my predictions more because now she's getting consistently into the top five. Um, I believe she was fifth at Legions as well. Um, and then she took fifth here at Sacramento. She was the one that I mentioned at Legions looked a little bit too muscular and needed to pose her muscularity down. Uh, I felt like her front pose and her back pose at this particular show were both better. Uh, her front pose, she stood up tall. That was one of my critiques from um, Legions is that she kind of crunched into it a little bit. She got some skin folds in her lower back and her front pose. She did not have that issue here. So she did pull up and get rid of that, which was great. Um, she is still a little bit thick through the quads, but it's okay. She posed it away. She posed it away, so she was good. Um, and then when you look at her back pose, I was critical of her back pose at Legions as well because she was pushing into it too much. And this is what I was talking about with both Hope and, um, who was the other one? Who was I saying was pushing too hard? Hope and somebody. I can't remember who else I was talking about. But anyway, <laughs> there was two girls I said tonight. And I can't remember which two they were. <laughs> oh, Maria, Maria, Maria. So Hope and Maria, I was talking about the two of them maybe may have been pushing too hard in their back pose. 
Um, Adrian is one that she stood up more in this in this show, and her glutes rounded out. I talked about her glutes the last show; they looked square. Here in this show, they don't. They look round because she stood up. So just something simple like that can completely transform the back pose. And she, her, her glutes looked a thousand times better at this show than they did at Legion's. And I really think it was just a matter of how she was posing. She just relaxed her pose a little bit and stood up. And that helped the, helped the top part of that glute just round out for her. Um, I'm trying to pull up a back shot right now so I could see her upper body. Yeah, her upper body is nice and relaxed. So I think that was that was a really good move on her part. I think she was just probably over posing at Legion's. Um, and then the pose that she hit here was much more flattering. So good job on that. I'm going to have to remember her now because we're going to have to start sticking her into those top five predictions when we get into shows now too because she's getting consistently in that top five now. So really good job there. Um, then we're going to move up to fourth, which was Alessia. Um, Alessia is another one whose tan was really off. Um, it was like gray green, not dark enough. Um, not really sure again what was going on with the tan with a bunch of these girls, but this was a this was a this was this one hurt her. This one hurt her a lot. Um, her physique looked really washed out. Um, didn't look like it had any pop. Uh, looked flat. Looked hard. Looked all those kinds of things that she definitely doesn't want to look like. Alessia has a tendency to go too hard, right? Alessia has a tendency to, lo to lose pop. Uh, and with the tan aspect, that really did not help her here at this show. Um, it, it really washed her out quite a bit. Uh, she had like it was almost like she had no hamstrings from the back, uh, just because she was look she looked so washed out. And I do think a lot of it was 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 centered around the tan. And then, like I said, with her, it's just it's a struggle to get her to fill out as it is. So you don't want anything that's going to come in the way of of that look you know, and having a tan that's like a grayish greenish color and not dark enough can absolutely affect how your physique looks as far as um, fullness and things like that is concerned. So, you know, when that, when that, um, that happens, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, I'm looking at her front pose here to see if they're, how we're looking on the front. Let me just a second and pull it up. Yeah. Um, her front pose is fine. She's, she sometimes has issues with distension in the lower abs. She doesn't have that problem here. Um, she does need to adjust her suit top a little bit. It's a little bit off on her suit top. And again, because her tan is off, her face looks really yellow too, uh, the makeup. So, um, I'm really critical of the, of the yellow makeup. I'm not a fan of the yellow look on the makeup. Um, but that doesn't help when your tan is like a greenish color, right? So guys, whatever happened with your tans at this show, I'm sorry, but it did not do you any justice. So please, please, please be on top of your tans because that definitely hurt Alessia in this particular lineup. Um, uh, and a couple of the other girls too, like I mentioned earlier down the line. Um, then we have third. So third, we have Lucia. So Lu Lucia, I had actually predicted her in second, uh, because at the Olympia, she had placed top 10. She took third. Um, main reason why in Lucia's case is she's a little soft from the back. Um, can tan be helped by a base tan and a tanning bed or no? Depends on the person. You don't really need to base, you don't really need to bed tan. Some people do, some people don't. You don't need to bed tan though. Nah. Um, so Lucia, I think this was a really good overall look for her. Like she's finally got that hair to the point where it's really blonde. Like she was always in between for the last few shows that she was in. It was just like kind of like almost blonde, not quite blonde, all those kinds of things. Now it is, and it looks good. It looks put together. It looks healthy. All of that. Great job. I like the blue suit on her too. I think that really pops on her. Um, blue is where she's won her shows before, so really good job on that choice too. Tan was good on her. She's just too soft in the back. She is, um, and I noticed this even at the, you know, at the Olympian, I mentioned this as well. She's one of these girls that's pretty big from the back, leg-wise and glute-wise. She, she can compete real well with Laura Lee from the back with her glutes. But if she's a little off and she's a little soft, it's just too much. And that was what happened here. She just wasn't quite sharp enough in order to be, be able to carry off the size that she has. Um, her look at Olympia, 
as far as her tightness her conditioning I thought was perfect because it wasn't like her glutes and stuff were overpowering um, here because she was a little bit soft it did make them look that way it did make them look a little bit overpowering here so um, still a great look for her and like I said I do like the overall look that she has like her tan her hair her makeup this was probably the best look in that regard that she's had so far she just needs to get a handle on her her glutes from the back and just making sure that she pulls that down a little bit I think if she decides to um, do another show she just needs to pull some size down a little just a little from the back because there I think that's gonna always be her critique and that's always gonna be what she's gonna have to have to worry about unless she pulls a little bit of size down just in general from the back she has she has lower league glutes and then she has um, big big legs too so um, she has to be perfect from that or it's gonna be overpowering but I mean still 30 is not bad don't get me wrong uh, she just needs to be tighter just needs to be tighter and then um, in second we have Miss Jessica Wilson who was on here earlier no, don't know if she's still on here or not um, but I loved this look on Jessica she went with the curly hair uh, her natural curls which I thought was fantastic we had a conversation about this so um, she's talking about how you know she loved the, the natural curls and she just felt like herself on stage still has some things to do to work with it and just make sure that it lays perfectly and all those kinds of things and talked about she has this one piece one chunk of, of curls that bothers her in the front and I have the same exact thing that happens with mine oh Jessica's on here there she is I have the same exact thing that happens with my hair too I have one piece that just chunks on the side and it drives me nuts that's why a lot of times when you see me at shows I'll have this one piece pulled back because that's the piece that chunks up on me <laughs> <laughs> it drives me crazy <laughs> yay Jessica yes natural curl right yeah they looked fantastic um you know and that's doing natural curls if you can get them to look really pretty and healthy is a phenomenal look on stage it's just so vibrant to me and so full of life to me I love that um, it's just really hard to get it to lay right and really hard to make it look really healthy sometimes um, with the the curls it can end up looking a little bit frizzy and things like that and she didn't have that issue here um, I wouldn't have even noticed the the chunk of hair that she's talking about with the curls if she hadn't mentioned it to me but as soon as she said it I was like I know exactly what you're talking about because I have the same problem <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, thank you. It was actually the easiest look I've ever pulled off, right? Because if it's natural, I mean, if your natural hair, you just show up and it's there. It's good to go. You know what I mean? I've honestly thought about doing it myself too. I don't know. I'll, we'll, we'll see because I do have natural curls. I have natural waves as well. So um, it, would it would look pretty similar to yours, a little bit calmer than yours. Um, I think if I, got, if I wore my natural curls on stage, but mine have a tendency to frizz. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm, if I'm ready to do that yet. <laughs> But um, overall, I thought this was a really good physique for um, a presentation for Jessica. Um, from the back is always the critiques that she gets. She needs a little bit more upper and outer glute. Still needs a little bit more upper outer glute here. But she poses. She figured out her pose to make her glutes show the best. And that's what's most important here. You'll notice that her back pose is very different from a lot of the other girls. But that's how her her glutes show at their best. So you got to do what works best for your frame. And this uh, pose that she did here worked very, very well for her frame. Um, thank you. It was actually easy. Oh, oh my God, do it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit when we get to the uh, Clash All South too. I'm going to get to that. Um, now from the front, Jessica's like flawless from the front. I've always said this, that I think Jessica has one of the most aesthetically pleasing um, bikini poses from the front period uh, across the board and in the whole sport. So I think that that is the same thing here. I think her, her front pose is fantastic. I think she just needs to grow those outer glutes. Grow those outer glutes. That's it. Story of your life, right? 100% <laughs> accurate critique about the peach, right? Yes. See, and that's it. That's all that. That's all that's um kind of holding you back in this in this regard. Like, again, presentation was perfect. Uh, tan was perfect. Um, posing was was perfect for your physique and frame and everything like that too. So it's just a matter of growing that upper outer glute. That's it. That's it. Easier said than done, right? Trust me, I know. Hmm, I'm working on that now myself. I get it. I get it. Um, so that leads us to our winner, which is Laura Lee. Now, um, literally hip thrusting as I watch this. I love it. <laughs> I, I just finished mine before I started doing this. I was hip thrusting all night myself. So I get you. I get you. <laughs> um, so this was Laura Lee's first time on stage coaching herself. Um, overall, I do think this was her best look. Now, I, 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 at the beginning of this, preface this whole thing by saying 
that all the girls on this stage look a little bit more conditioned in the photos than they actually did look. And she does look on in these pictures like she's overly conditioned. But when you watch the videos, she's not. She's nice and full. She's nice and round. Um, this is the first time that I've looked at her and I've been like, okay, her glutes are full, but they're not too full. You know, they kind of match her legs finally. That's always been my critique of her is that her glutes just overpower her legs. Her legs look thin and her glutes look huge. That's always been my critique. Even at the Olympia, that was my critique of her too. And she did not have that problem here. Um, here, she looked very balanced from the back. This was the first time I think I can say that she looked balanced this year. Um, front pose is on. Front pose always looks good for her. You know, she's got that long torso, so that's difficult for her sometimes to really accentuate that full long V in the front, but she did a great job here. Um, but again, the one thing she always gets critiqued on is the fullness of her glutes and how they just don't match her frame. And this is the first time I think I can say she was balanced um, from the back. Her boyfriend said that she coached herself at the Arnold. Oh, well, I'm going based on the fact that I know she's coaching herself now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Amazing for Laura Lee to show up considering everything going on in her personal life, given that Sean Roden news major kudos to her for keeping it together on every level. Yeah, I mean, this was a, you know, obviously I don't like to speculate on personal lives of people, but obviously this was probably a pretty, pretty tumultuous weekend for her. So keeping it together through all of that, you know, is, is, is tough. You know, it's, it's, Regardless, like we said, regardless of what's going on and how things happen in people's lives, stuff that she had to go and deal with this past weekend is tough to deal with. So she did a really good job of holding it together. Um, and like I said, I do think that this was probably her best package all year. I do think this is probably the best look that she's had all year. Um, you know, I, I'm critical of her when I see her glutes, like I said, in her back pose, but also her transitions and things like that. And she didn't really have an issue with squishing her glutes and her transitions this time either. So she did a really good job here. She did a really good job here. And I'm sure that just for her, this was a really big, like, personal victory. You know what I mean? Um, and he said that, he said she coached herself for the Arnold and the Olympia. Eh. Well, that's her boyfriend talking. That's not her. Um, you know, obviously she had a coach that was posting her stuff during that time frame. So I'm not going to get into all that. That's all drama. That's all drama. <laughs> it's all drama. <laughs> so just going to say, say that much. Um, so, you know, at, at the end of the day, I think this was the, I think this was the, the best look she's had regardless. This was the best she's, look she's had. Um, and you know, again, that's saying a lot, that's saying a lot going into, um, a weekend that she had, you know, and I believe she was here at this show by herself too. She didn't, you know, didn't have any friends or family with her and things like that. So, you know, it was, it was a weekend, you know, it was a, it was a rough weekend and I know anybody who went through what she has had to go through and I'm speculating on what she's had to go through in her personal life, you know, recently would be. But this takes a lot of strength to pull through. So, you know, kudos to her. And it, like I said, I'm sure this was a huge personal victory for her, um, you know, just top to bottom. So um, I don't know if she's planning on competing anymore um, uh, or she's going to go off season at this point. I don't know. Um, so if coach girls are really doing well this year. Well, you know, in general, usually what happens when it comes to the self-coaching thing is most of the time when girls decide to do that, it's because they've had a coach for a while and they kind of already know their body better. You know, um, they've, they've done it enough that they know how their body's gonna respond to certain things, and they've kept really good diligent notes and things along that line. Um, so at that point, they're able to do it. Now also, you have to keep in mind too, we'll talk about both Laura Lee and Jen Dory, they both coach themselves, but they both have boyfriends that understand and have an eye for this stuff too. So they have people that they can bounce stuff off of. So even if they're questioning something, they have somebody in their corner that's going to help them as well, right? Um, I think she's doing one more show. Yeah, I think I remember seeing something about that, but I can't I can't remember. Um, I, I think I saw that she's gonna do Iron Games, I think, which is like, isn't that next week, maybe? Um, but who knows? You know, things change, I can think. things can change on a dime. Obviously, a lot of a lot of crap happened this past weekend. You know what I mean? So, you know, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Um, I mean, frankly, if she does another show, she's probably gonna win it. Um, she looks phenomenal. So, you know, more more power to her, right? 
Yeah, Iron Games. Yeah, I'm pretty... I, I, I did see... Again, I did see her say something about that. But, again, at the same time, who knows? Like, a lot of stuff happened this past weekend, right? So, I would not... I wouldn't blame her if she decides that she doesn't want to do that. You know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see. So, with that... Um, yeah, I thought this was a really good show. Um, lots of competition in this show, which was good. I love seeing that kind of thing. And, um, and I thought the judging was right on where it should be. It should have been. It made it really like, again, I, I'm thankful for Jasmine sending me the pic or the videos of the first call outs for me so I could uh, analyze that stuff and everything too, because it looked a lot clearer from watching video than from looking through the pictures. And that's going to do it for our wrap up of the Sacramento Pro. Make sure that you subscribe, turn on those notifications, like and comment. And that also enters you in to win a free posing session with me. So please do that for me. And the more that you do that also, the more content we can bring you. So thank you again for being so supportive. And we'll be back again soon with another fantastic video wrap up for you. Thanks again.